Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Proxy and Bub and Live Resin Dab of the Day. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, when you enjoy today's video, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, send a like, and I reply to all the comments. How do we deal with all the negative thoughts in our brains? How do we tap into the positive to manage the negative? Negative thoughts can distract from what's important. They can drain our energy and cause anxiety and depression. Inaccurate thoughts reinforce negative thinking. Black and white thinking is one type of inaccurate thought or what's called thought distortion, but it can be challenged. Most of us, most of us, spend a lot of time inside our own minds, worrying about the future, replaying everything from the past, and generally focused on the parts of life that leave us dissatisfied. Well, that's certainly common. Negative, unwanted thoughts, though, can prevent us from enjoying experiences. They distract us from focusing on what's important, and they drain our energy. Those thoughts can also make us feel anxious and depressed. The good news is that there are ways that we can replace negative thinking patterns and thoughts with patterns and thoughts that actually help. It can be a huge difference in day-to-day -day happiness and comfort. Let's discuss. You need to recognize thought distortions. Our minds have clever and interesting ways of convincing us something that really isn't true. Come on, happens all the time. Those inaccurate thoughts reinforce negative thinking. If you can recognize them, maybe we can learn to challenge them. But what's a thought distortion? One would be black and white thinking, seeing everything as one way or the other without any in between. Another one would be personalizing, assuming that we're to blame for anything and everything that goes wrong, like the thinking someone didn't smile at you because you did something to upset them. Not even thinking that they just had a bad day. Filter thinking, which is choosing to see only the negative side of a situation and catastrophizing, assuming the worst possible outcome is going to happen. I'm a catastrophizer. But how do we face these things? First of all, you got to be head on. you got to challenge the negative thoughts. Wherever you have a distorted thought, we've got to stop, evaluate whether it's accurate. Think about how we'd respond if a friend spoke about him or herself that way. Well, we'd probably offer a good rebuttal to his or her negative view. We've got to apply that same logic to our own thoughts. We've got to ask ourselves if we're assuming the worst will happen or blaming ourselves for something that absolutely has not gone the way we wanted. But then think about the other possible outcomes and reasons that something turned out differently than you hoped. We need to take a break from the negative thoughts. Yes, it is possible to learn how to separate from negative thoughts. Well, got to allow yourself a certain amount of time with the thought, then take a break from focusing on it and move on with whatever you're doing that day. Give it its just desserts, look at it up, down, and sideways, and move past it. Release the judgment. We all judge ourselves and others. In fact, we do it unconsciously, usually. Constantly comparing ourselves to other people or comparing our lives to some ideal breed's dissatisfaction. When we're able to let go of judgment, and it's not easy, but it is possible, we'll find that we feel more at ease. Got to take a break from judgmental thoughts by recognizing your own reactions and observing it and then letting it go. Be the positive judge. When you notice you're negatively judging a person, yourself or a situation, as a reflex, try looking for a positive quality too. It will balance it. You'll feel better. You're on your way. Practicing gratitude is a wonderful help to deal with negative thoughts. Practicing or feeling grateful 
has a huge impact on the level of positivity and happiness a person feels. Even when we're experiencing a challenging time in our life, we definitely still, even if they're small, can find things to be grateful for. Noticing things that are going well, that are making us feel happy in the face of negativity, will help us keep in touch with them. Keeping a journal, even writing it down, one thing at a time might be an effective way to do it. You see, you don't want to dwell on all these negative things. You want to focus on your strengths, not on the mistakes you've made all the time. If you do that, it'll be easier to feel positive about yourself and the direction your life's taking. If you find yourself thinking harsh thoughts about your personality or your actions, take a moment to stop. And think about something you do like about yourself. If I don't like the mustache and beard, maybe I like my hair. If I don't like my mustache and beard and hair, maybe I'm happy with the glasses I wear. You understand what I'm saying? And if you run out of this and you can't do it yourself, we always have the opportunity to seek professional help. If we're unable to manage these thoughts or find that they're truly interfering with us meeting our daily responsibilities, or enjoying life, a counselor or a therapist can really help you weather the changes, limit your suffering, and help you experience self-growth. The key, the key is to understand, yes, you have negative thoughts. Yes, everyone has negative thoughts. And yes, you can get past the negative thoughts. The key is to not dwell on them, focus on them constantly, and feel uncomfortable. The key is to realize that you, just like everybody else, put your pants on one leg at a time, you walk one foot in front of the other, and guess what? You can help yourself. You can help yourself feel less the way you do. Stop the negative thinking. Move past it. It's not a fantasy. You can do it. This has been The Real Senior Stoner, and we have been talking about negative thinking and how to get past it. Everyone has them. Don't be ashamed of your negative thoughts. I wear them on my sleeve. They're out for everybody to see my negative thoughts. But that way it helps me solve them. Other people actually help me solve my negative thoughts. So if you can't do it yourself, shout it out, be proud about it, and don't worry. You can get past your negative thinking. Cheers, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And thanks for joining me for this Puffco Proxy and Bub rosin dab of the day. Cheers. Ooh. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And thanks for joining The Real Senior Stoner. You know what to do if you enjoyed the video. Hit that subscribe button, send a like, and I reply to all the comments. Cheers, and have a wonderful day.